Hello and welcome to the February. Well, aye, it is January, but it's kind of like. Don't confuse them, we're doing my next month. We're doing a January review. Well, aye, no, you're right. No, it's like games magazines. Aye. It's like. This one's is the July edition. It's, 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 it's January. <laughs> what? It's a... Uh, Welcome to the January edition of the Get Wrecked podcast. Hello. Thank Hello. you to the shocking amount of people that actually listened to the last one. Crazy. Considering we just put it on our own personal Twitters and that was it. People yeah. like wrestling. People like wrestling. They do. True. They like the wrestling. Is it the wrestling? Uh, oh. Returning <laughs> viewers. Welcome. Thank you. New viewers. Yep. Welcome. Thank you. Gary Hamill, welcome, thank you. Hello, I'm here. Gary Hamill of Film Show and Living in Irvine, where his fame and is here. And also now alumni. Living Elsewhere fame. And also lives his foreign exchange student. Yes. Um, yes. There <laughs> was plenty of wrestling in January, much like December. I'm here as well, you fucking dick. Stephen's here, but <laughs> he's know that, so there's no really... Um, right, where to start? The first show was Wrestle Kingdom, but Good. I want to ask you first, what? because I asked Stephen, my very first memory of wrestling ever is Mankind going off the top of the hell in a cell, Stephen's is Night of Champions 2014. <laughs> 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 That's, what That's what first memory of wrestling. <laughs> I had wrestling toys. We talked about Roman Reigns in the last one, and he was like, what, is that the guy in the bed? He was in the bed? He was in bed? <laughs> Because he was injured. Do you know what I count my actual? <laughs> do you know what I my actual first memory of wrestling is? Finding out it was fake because I came home for being oh. out at a party with my mom and dad one night, and there was like WWE Secrets of Wrestling on Sky One at like half twelve. Aye, it was I was day two guys in the masks. Aye, yeah. aye, I yeah. remember that. Aye. Like one of them's called the Crusher or something. Aye, like yeah, that. It was, it was like showing you how they done the moves. And it's clearly just Goldberg in a mask. And I was like, oh, here it's fake. It's and then I never watched it. It's Goldberg in a mask. He's got the same tattoos. They don't cover up the tattoos. Aye, it was just like, like it was just so like dumb, guys. Man. It was just like actual wrestlers. Aye. What was your? Maybe know the first thing you ever seen. Just that one the, thing. The, that the like memory that sticks out aye. is a uh, Jeff Hardy hanging from the titles and Edge spearing him from the top aye. ladder. That's probably one. That, and see, probably forever. That's probably going to be that memory that will stick there like forever. That, cause that was mental. That was I, pretty. I thought amazing. he was dead, right? Cause I had that on video on VHS. Aye, yeah, because his head bounces off the ground. Like when, and I thought he was dead. And I said to my dad, I was like, what's, what's going on here? Is this, is this, is this happening? That's no kosher. Uh, aye. So basically, each month on, on this, this here podcast, we don't really get into news or like taping results we don't and, break kayfabe. and shit like that because basically people <laughs> already do that better than we do so there's not really much point we if just, we'd done it we'd do it way better we just <laughs> we, we just we just talk about the, the shows that have happened and it tends to be quite interesting to see what Stephen thinks because th- at the moment a lot of the time it's the first time he's seen I know people. fuck all <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's, 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 that's like a dynamic of it that's like this is, this that's is the only cool. podcast that on the internet about wrestling that where like one half of the main cast of the show knows fuck all about <laughs> wrestling. No, but see the thing is, it's like when it's as if you were asking like a seven year old who just first started watching wrestling about it, you're you're overly excited about it, which is a good thing. Like, I actually like the rumble, so uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So what what do you want to start with? Because it's not really it we doesn't make just start. much difference. Uh, in fact, Space Boys was last month. I oh, oh, right, yeah. and I've yeah. not watched it. I watched it. I so did not watch it. the person who doesn't watch wrestling watched the most wrestling. Aye, I, I, <laughs> I just, I just never, ever get round to it, man. It's good. It's really good. Is that the I new know, show? It looks to great. The, right there? the spy who? No, that's no, uh, that's um, uh, played wrestling. Aye, all oh, right. And spy who pinned me? They're like Motherwell or something, I think. Aye. So Stephen, yes. Space Boys. Space Boys. Space Boys 4. Boys Bil- in Mur- space. Colon, Bil- Murray. Space Boys 5. Co- yeah. Sorry. Colon, Bill Murray strikes back. Wait, this is the fifth one they've done? No, it's uh, the second. But it's episode five. Oh, shit. Right. I um, like, um, like the Star Wars. And episode yes. six is Return of the Jedi. And it's Space Boys Return of the Jedi. Uh, oh, that, so it's no done. It right. must be. See, uh, when, when I said here, big man's not been wrestling in ICW because they're putting them down to Space Boys. So working, working an angle. They're, they're working what? an angle. They're, they're what? What? He's not been fighting in ICW. And now he's in Space Boys. I, oh like in their main shows, and now he's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. So they started, um, I'm assuming this is uh, this is in order. Uh, they started off with polo promotions, 
versus Sweeney and Sola. <laughs> and that was um, Jackie Polo and DCT. International sex hero. The, the Tinder tycoon. Is <laughs> the tycoon of Tinder, Tinder is wow, what Billy Cup could call them. I mean, uh, at the at the square goal. I mean, ha- and uh, aye, Jackie Polo and DCT what? versus Sweeney and so on. Aye, rat bastard. <laughs> Jackie Polo is a fantastic wrestler, but he's just like I've never hated a heel more than I hate him. Like <laughs> just they, but like tons of folk love him. Aye, so much that he does it so well that you just like I'm, want I'm to. I'm sure. It, is he? Would you say is was it all an act? Or do you think he's a wee bit of a dick? I don't know. Like I would not like to speculate. Way. Like right. people who may way. or may not kill end up you. on the podcast <laughs> 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 at some point. So, yeah. um, how was the match? How was it for you? Uh, well, it was the first time I'd ever seen DCT wrestle, and that blew my fucking mind. Because that guy's insane. <laughs> 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 um, what, a, what a character. I really liked Solar. At first I thought he was kind of like, shit. And then he started doing their crazy stuff. Aye. And it was like, oh, here, fucking... He was good. He's like a pale Rey Mysterio. Aye. Um, he's great man the stuff ah, he pulls off is cool, pretty oh, uh, first up uh, the, the, um, uh, Billy Kirkwood wasn't there so the thing was like commentated by Simon Cassidy and Joe Coffey which was quality oh what right. um, cool. is he also a mighty commentator <laughs> he is I. is he as good as Billy Kirkwood though no no <laughs> um, I uh, the Sweeney first time I'd seen him wrestle uh, mm, it's kind of boring <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like uh they're like they're like they're like pushing him for a they're like making him face. He's like, hey, the thing is, it's like the thing is like now like he had a kid and they announced that. Aye. The thing is now that like he's like Solar's like he tagged with Solar's so he's like Solar's like father figure, so he's like he's softer now. Right. It's like what they're, okay. they're, he's like not the pure. Makes sense. Because his story is that like he was in prison, he was in Bali. Aye. <laughs> right. Aye. So the, the thing is now that like he's like he's like softening up for. No, but like see like. As is Solar meant to be portraying like a twelve year old boy who can wrestle or something like that? No. No, he's just like small, so like and Aye. young, so right. oh, because it's ECW, um, so anything could who? perceivably happen. Pull promotions won that, didn't they? Yeah. What? The red Jack- the they did? Aye. ACT. Aye, because like Sweeney takes off his like mad like John Lennon glasses and like snaps them in half and like throws them on the ring and they walk out and that um aye, it was good. I don't know. Uh <laughs> Then we had the Yum Yum and Jamie Ferrick. Oh, and fuck. A, a 1v1 contest. Apparently, I've never seen Jamie Ferrick fight before, but apparently he's changed his um, gimmick. Right. To where now he's like basically, he comes out and like chat show music plays. Right. And the screen says like the Jamie Ferrick show, and it's like basically he's Jeremy Kyle. Great. Which is which was pretty funny. <laughs> that, sounds, <laughs> that sounds like that could be <laughs> <good>. <laughs> That sounds like that could be really good. <laughs> uh, and Yum Yum. I just kind of couldn't go over the fact that there was someone called Yum Yum. Aye. So. For reasons that we were not Aye. Aye, that was also uh, decent. I don't really remember that one, to be honest with you. Right. Then we had the eight man square goal. That was really good. Nathan Black one. Yep. And he was and in the, the square goal proper. It like wasn't. I don't think it was meant to be Nathan Black that like came out. It was like someone else and he came out. Right. And everyone was like, oh, right. shit. On. Who, who is? I don't even know. Nathan Black was the guy that's going to go over with a gas mask. Right, okay. And he came. Aye, he was like good. Uh, aye, he was. Aye, that was like cool. That was cool. Yep, that was good. Uh, started first out, I think, was Viper. Right. Uh, Viper, Stone Cold, Bobby Roberts. Yep. And they hell, like, hell yeah. They teamed up. Uh, and I, I really liked it. I didn't. It took me. I was watching it and I kind of. I was only like. I wasn't paying like full attention to it. Uh, and then, I was, and then I was like, oh, here, this is like an eight man rumble. And Aye. it was just it was quality. It was nope. good. Jimmy Phoenix was in that again, wasn't he? Does it this tomorrow? No. No. I'm going to I'm gonna watch this show because it is kind of just uh, me like, was this good or shit? Was this good or shit? That was the eight man rumble was quality. I liked that. And we had the Gate Crashers versus David the Beloved and you and G Mackey. Oh, that was really good. I liked that. Aye. Aye. I can imagine that that would be good. That was fun. They looked good. Like the first time I seen them was. Uh Gate Crashers was uh, uh, Brush Our Goose. Brush Aye, that was the first time I'd seen them and they were they were like a good team. Then, um, we, then we had Renfrew versus Looking Shark. Oh, that was so good, man. Two of my favourites. Oh, it was so good. And an I quit match. Was it? Aye. Oof. And uh, I won by pinfall. Uh, it says won by pinfall. That's because the card's subject to change. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 uh, That's amazing. Then we had uh, Layla Rose <laughs> and Sammy Jane. 
Uh, um, I uh, that was also good. I don't know, like aye. <laughs> uh, Kenny Williams, Joe Hendry. That was that was incredible. Aye, aye. That, was really good. that was really good. Aye, because that was that was Joe Hendry fighting for his his job. Aye. aye. Look we'll talk about what happened. <laughs> we had <laughs> Drew Galloway and Lewis Garvin. That was also good. That was like a kind of comedy oh. match. Was it? Like half oh, comedy right. match, half actual well, wrestling match. Did they match. Up the fact that they really look like each other? Well, they came out and everyone just immediately started chanting, you're just a shite Drew Galloway. Well, Drew wow. Galloway was also there. The <laughs> 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 so, but uh, there was some good... Galloway was getting in at the chops. Aye. And it was just like... It was just the worst thing. <laughs> and then <laughs> what I assume was after it that probably wasn't on the on-demand video was uh, Red Lightning singing the big show's theme music. That was That wasn't. Because obviously, like Red Lightning's, they're trying to play Red Lightning off as a kind of bad guy. Aye. So, which he's great at. Which he is amazing at. That's the first time I've ever seen Spaceballs is way more story heavy than like the actual ICW shows are. Right. Yeah. Aye. Uh, and it works. Because a lot of ICW stories like done on li- online and YouTube that. and shit. Aye. But it work. It really works for them. And they should. See, but obviously they say it's more of the. I don't even like saying it, but a smaller show, but even a like kind of smaller shows. So are younger artists, wrestlers, you know, they're wrestlers and that. Like it's their NXT, they, like. They kind of like, aye, they showcase. Like, aye. Like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's good, man. It's like it's kind of like they can experiment with it because if they fuck it, it's not their main roster. Steven's big time now, by the way. How? Get tweet favoured. Fa- oh, favoured fa- by Finn Finn <laughs> Prince is dead. Prince is dead. I've still got that t-shirt in a medium, so if anyone knows any really small people... <laughs> Daza. 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 Uh, but like, it might not, it'd probably be too wee from. No, but he wears really tight clothes. Just get to, um, Daza, just if, get you're to if you're watching, Aye. start wearing bigger clothes. <laughs> I, 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 I ordered the, the Prince is Dead t-shirt off of Suplex Wrestling. Uh, in, in a medium, everything I wear is a medium. This is a medium. It fits me fine. Um... And then it came and like I couldn't get it over my arms, so I asked for I was like, "Here, I have no even wore this because I can't get it on." Like I know you, they make limited supply. Can I send this back and like get a refund? And they were just like, "Nope." That doesn't seem. <laughs> cool. yeah, I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I I emailed back like like. Like what? <laughs> like, I, it's it's our policy. We can't take refunds. Thanks for thanks for buying it. <laughs> oh man! And I you was could probably sell it There's on eBay for quite a bit. So though. yeah, there is. A, I just went on PayPal and went because I bought it through PayPal and we, like sent them it, and then PayPal got me a refund. PayPal paid me a refund, and then we're like, Aye, cause they insure and, then, and then we're like, if they don't pay us back, they're getting fucked. <laughs> so who knows? You should try selling it on eBay. You, you might get quite a bit for it on eBay if it's like limited run and like. Aye. Yeah. I don't know. I've lost a fair amount of weight, so I might just keep going and <laughs> <Would I'll you laughs> wear it nine stone or something. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that to uh, Suplex Wrestling is it dot com? I can't remember. Would you say that the people that run that are rat bastards? Rat bastards. I don't know, man. They make cool as fuck shirts. I want an Adam Cole baby shirt, but for p- 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 principle, I'm just no. <laughs> like, fuck I'm fuck sure those guys. That's total bullshit. Like, that, yeah. <laughs> I was like totally reasonable. I was like, here, like, I like, I know, I, I don't want a replacement. I know he's probably can't do that because he's limited resources or whatever. And they were just like, nope, fuck the yourself. Fa- the fact they weren't like, <laughs> we'll give you like, another shot is total bullshit. Like the fact they weren't just like, we'll give you another one. Like, not of that one, just any. Aye, they because I just gave you no, like they, they never even, they never even said any, that. Aye. If they'd said to you, is there any other shots that you'd maybe want to aye. go for, you would have probably said aye, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, go fuck you yourself. Can't, can't win them all. You won't be sponsoring this podcast, all. fucking. <laughs> 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 next, <laughs> next time I get extra money, I'm going to get a package pile drive for everyone. Kevin Steen shirt. Yeah. Nice. Just wear it everywhere. I want I wanted a Jack Jester t shirt, but then I just bought a Baramania ticket Aye. with it, so I want uh, <laughs> that shit sold out. <laughs> I don't know if you watched two months so in you advance. Watched NXT this week. Yes, right. of Did course. you see how many people in the crowd had Kevin Owen t shirts? Aye. It was just about everybody. The KO? Aye, like Aye. They're really cool. He's only wrestled one match in NXT. Aye. Like that is that just it's amazing. I I love to see it. So Space Boys was uh I really liked it. The, the like last week of December. Yep. It was like twenty first, I think it was. Wasn't it? I like uh, just a few days before Christmas. I'm gonna watch it, uh, and then on January fourth, 
We had Wrestle Kingdom 9 in Tokyo Dome. Yep. It's official name. Yep. Uh, brought to us by the fine folks at um, New Japan Pro Wrestling and Slap Nuts himself, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, because it was a. It was a. It was a cross cross Global Force yeah. joint. I think they just distributed it basically in America. Oh, aye. Um, so they had a 15 man Royal Rumble type thing before it. It's like a dark match, and I then was, I was about to say I never, I never seen that. And so then we started with the best at um, fucking tag team in the world, Red Dragon. It was good. Holla at your boys, get the hook up, holla if you hear me. <laughs> the what? big bad booty daddy. Don't confuse folks. I man. wish the Snyder <laughs> brothers were still. <laughs> 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 Uh, it was uh, Red Dragon defending the New Japan Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships against Forever Hooligans, which it was the first time I'd saw them. Also, yeah. for all of us, I'm pretty sure this was our first New Japan show we watched, as I'd assume a lot of people will. Sure. I've seen matches. Aye, I'd seen yeah. matches. I have seen the for neither heed nor tail <laughs> of it. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's like... I don't know the Japanese commentary. Like, I, I, I just like, I can't watch like a three-hour show. I with, think I'm a part of the commentary. commentary you know what I mean? Um, so forever hooligans, uh, time splitters, so featuring Alex Shelley, Would the best damn fucking I, blonde-haired Mexican wrestler in the universe. I Not think uh, <laughs> he would be the best. I uh, think um, and. Um, Kushida, who's also amazing. Yep. It's just mental, isn't he? Just does crazy shit. I think and the young bucks. Did you see their moves? They're generation they're, Me. They're, they're you moves might are in uh, 2K15. You might, the remember, the rifle. you might remember them as Generation Me. Aye, from DNA. TNA. Yeah. But Too sweet. Bullet Club is real. No, it is. It is. It's, 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 it's taken over. I just want to say that I'm, uh, I'm calling out for a Kenny Williams team spotters. Triple threat. Like, crossover? Aye. Uh, Here. Like, six-man match. Can you imagine like, I Finn would Balor? shit the bricks <laughs> that happened. Yeah, what would just do if like, Finn Balor just like he came out with a hoodie on and then took off the hoodie and he's got a Bullet Club t-shirt on he's like What if he had Kenny Williams face painted on his <laughs> face? Just, the bollocks on the Aye. Aggies t-shirt What if he just came out and like was painted but just had ICW painted on him? <laughs> he was just like watch this instead <laughs> <laughs> What if he just dressed up his toe? Hey. That's, that should be like the next thing, kind of like Tool dresses up as like everybody. Aye. Somebody should just dress up as Tool <laughs> and be like, I'm going to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> so four-way tag team match. It's fucking great. Just like everyone doing their big cool moves, a bunch of madness, not much kind of like ring psychology yeah. or any of that kind of shit. Just crazy We've mad all these shit. mental tag team Aye. moves. And they actually announced maybe yesterday or uh, during the week, uh, Ring of Honor... 13th anniversary show I want to say in March I'm not entirely sure of the exact date uh, for the ROH tag team titles Young Bucks and Red Dragon Oof. again yeah, that sounds good. just, like, ev- watch over and just over, like every time they wrestle it's amazing they've already wrestled at least twice or no three times in Ring of Honor so every time it's amazing uh, what do you think of that the Young Bucks were my favourite aye too sweet me bro oh that Red Dragon are my favourite, but like I was going to say, like see Red Dragon are like an they're like a hybrid MMA team. A lot of the the, the stuff they do a lot. It's like, like they're fluid. Thing. Yeah. It's like they're like the Samaritan Death Squad. They'll do like a move and then it'll just like like what? chain into yeah. another move and then another one. And it's they're clearly like I don't know how long they've been teaming for. Right? Is it? Um, <laughs> Stephen, stop being. So, this is why. You, Stephen, <laughs> through the great power of Wikipedia, <laughs> I'll be able to tell you. <sighs> 2012. Right, so, so two, two and a half years. Yeah. Near enough. Yeah. Just so, so, see for the fact that like how, how like you think they were they've been like a tag team for ten years. Honestly, aye, like they're there's fantastic. No many, aye, there's no many like that. So that was a that was a good one. Um. Then we had six man tag match. There's a bunch of tag matches in this. Joe, I'm surprised that you never mentioned hashtag super kick party in that one. There was fucking hunters of super there kicks. Was there of was super kicks. Not all mentioned it. Like, it wasn't even a party. It turned into a palooza, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it was super a kick palooza. It was a bit of a like, super kick warehouse rave. <laughs> nearly <laughs> in a party. I proved these on our panel. No super kicks in a super kick factory. <laughs> Aye. Uh, then we had 
I'm going to butcher these names horrendously. Oh, we had Tenzan, Kojima, and Honma. Whoever the guy was that did the mad, like, magical headbutt was, like, the best thing I've <laughs> ever seen, ever. <laughs> uh, versus Bullet Club, and that was Bad Luck Fally, Jeff Jarrett, and Takahashi with Karen Jarrett. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask, that... them all. <laughs> I know. Just kicking about ringside. Team Canada's coach himself, Scott <laughs> Demore. Oh, uh, my. Oh, aye. Um, that brings back memories. That was good. Bring back Peter Wilson. That was only five minutes long. It was fine. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I didn't realise it was that quick aye. when I watched it. Nah, so both, I, I both, was there was that and then there was an eight-man tag yeah. right after it. It was five minutes. Yeah. There was yeah. not. That was uh, Mikey Nichols, uh, Maru Fuji, Shane Haste, or Hasty. And Yano defeated uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr., um, Lance Archer, Shelton, X of Benjamin. What does X stand for, Joe? Extremely good at botching moves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and. and uh, Thrown shade. L- L- Lacusa. And they were known as Suzuki Gun. Just the best name ever. It's just the fact that David Boy Smith Jr. is on them and it's Suzuki Gun. Aye, I know. This, this, this He's the gun. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is uh, Suzuki. Aye. Uh, Who is David Boy Smith Jr.? He's uh, David Boy Smith, the British Bulldog's Aye. son. He's like a real legend. Right, it? okay. Cool. Then we had the fake weird MMA match type thing. Which was cool to watch. Minori Suzuki and Kazushi Sakuraba. Legend. Uh, the, the Gracie the, the Hunter. Hunter. Uh, it was weird. I see, right? I, I feel bad saying this, but I is this a like MMA fight? I, do, I nah, know like, that like, like fake Japanese MMA. Really fuck that, by the way. Gets weirder, <laughs> right? But like, I think it's not got a place, man. Just it was strange, wasn't it? The bit when they were like on the ramp and the ramp slipped pure long, and it just looked really cool. Yeah. It was fine. I turned it, it off after that and didn't watch it for like two weeks. It felt <laughs> uh, it felt way longer than nine minutes. Yep. I feel like the two tag matches should have been given more time, and that could have been a bit quicker. Aye. See, he's called the Gracie Hunter. Aye. Yeah, because like he Gracie Jiu Jitsu. An MMA. No, he's a real. He's a real. Aye, no, no, he's a real MMA. Aye. Aye. They look like, like all the Gracies back kick, in the Pride kick days. The shit out of them, aye. Quality. And he was uh, like the first man to ever look kind of do it. Then we had the never open weight championship match. That was uh, Maccabi defeating the champion Ishii and aye. winning the title. Uh, that was awesome. Aye. That was stiff. That was snug. Ugh, a that snug that match. Oh, Never ever shots, tell me man. that you're stiff ever again. <laughs> no, it's, like, it's a nah, stiff match. Just don't do it. It's a snug, snug tight match, <laughs> Stephen. Uh, nope. It was good, what? Oh, it was cool. You really liked it. I didn't did. You, you were going crazy about it. No, right, see, just that match, just m- that and the last two matches. Strong style. Funny, man. Just the king, king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. See, honestly, see, when I heard that name, I was just expecting Wee Naka for Celtic. Aye. Booting folk in the heat. But no, unfortunately, that did not Aye, happen. Those two guys slapped the piss out of each other, man, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Some of the stuff they were doing. Uh, then we had Kenny Omega, accompanied by the Young Bucks, defeating <laughs> Taguchi for the uh, Junior Heavyweight Championship. See, before we go any further, see the match with... Uh, like the match before that. Yep. Apparently, uh, see how they were chopping each other in the throat full force. Apparently, one of them brought shoved their windpipe halfway through the match and, uh, kept, going and kept going. Nope. And kept getting hit in the throat. Yep. No, right, continue, Strong sorry. style, Gary. Aye. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> uh, and then we had Kenny Omega and Taguchi for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. You really liked Kenny Omega, didn't you? I thought he was. Cool. I thought he was good. You said it was a hair, and I was like, the hair Kenny Omega, the, the guy that done the magic. Guys, they shaves his arms, Gary. Before it, so that the stubble comes through, I know. <laughs> so he can rev the chainsaw <laughs> and then sh- <laughs> and fuck I'm them up. I'm pretty sure that was was that JR that said that. Or was that no, that was Striker that no, said that. Wasn't it? Oh, that's like a thing, but that's him revving the chainsaw. Aye, yeah. His stubble is the chainsaw. How guy. weird is that though? JR explained it. Weird. And I now laughed so for five man, consecutive man. minutes. <laughs> it's amazing though. It's his hair that makes it just that weird grey slash black hair that he's got. Aye. Pretty sure there's a bit of ginger in there and all, but. It was like it was like perfectly alright, but I never got like super into it. It was cool. Oh, and he was with the young box as well. Yeah, yep. They were in the like matching tracksuits. I think <laughs> they were wearing. <laughs> then we had the tag team championship proper, the the heavyweight tag team championships. We had a uh, Bullet Club, Doc Gallows, 
one love Doc Gallows really, really deserve, be- deserve better Aye. Uh, and Carl Machine Gun Anderson <laughs> versus uh, Haruki Goto and Katsuyori Shibata here you're, na- you're, you're getting these names right I'm yeah. I'm balling here Hashtag. I just bodied those names <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, Bullet Club had Tama Tonga at ringside who's like one of the coolest looking motherfuckers like, ever he's just got that beard and like face paint and ponytail and just looked <laughs> like he would fuck everyone in the universe yeah, he's kind of <laughs> like Joe Kofi yeah aye, he is a bit um, that was good aye, it was good I, it's cool aye. to see the good guys win yeah like I feel like with Bullet Club having every title, they've not got to see that. <laughs> I, well, I think Bullet Club only won like two two matches. They were only victorious two Aye. Teams out of Aye, they were. And it feels like in a New Japan show, every single match has a Bullet Club member in it. It's kind of turning. It's because Bullet Club's real. No, but it's like NWO is except real. not shit. I like, get the impression it's like kind of a joke as well. But part oh, yeah. of it is like a kind of tongue in cheek. Look, mind those cunts did this. Uh, <laughs> and it was fucking terrible. <laughs> so we're going to date and make it good. Yeah. I saw a. Uh, what was it? I saw was it some kind of documentary or no, it was an advert on the WWE network before NXT the other night for the NWO documentary because they're gonna show it like on their like live because they'll like, show it like a channel the network as well. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, just yeah. watch yeah. watch it what's on. That's the one of the cool thing. Sometimes I'll just like look whatever's on that I'll watch it, you know. Uh, they, it was like Hulk Hogan in an interview and he was like, Ah, you could you could just put the NWO on like any random mediocre wrestler and they'd be a star and then it was just a picture of Buff Bagwell. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck's He's now a jiggle apparently. Yeah, he has a jiggle. And the <laughs> so there you go, that tells you a lot about Buff Bagwell. <laughs> tells you a lot about the NWO. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um to be fair, it was good at first. Then we had AJ Styles and Night Na- Naito. Uh, in a in so a singles good. match for main the titles, <laughs> it was so good. Fuck all titles. Who cares? It was amazing, that? wasn't it? Oh. See when he did that. Shame AJ Styles is a massive cunt. Aye. Uh, <laughs> See when he did that flying forearm for the, like the top. Aye. Bolt. Oh, Aye. Like, <laughs> was quality. Like he was amazing in TNA. Man, I thought he was like the best person ever. He still is amazing. No, like, as a wrestler, but now I know what Aye. he's like as a person, and it puts me off. No, no, no. Aye. Uh, that match was fucking bad ass. Um, I really enjoyed that, and then it just kind of got better. For like those last three matches, just the next one was better after each other. Basically, like the main <laughs> event was my favourite <laughs> match. This next match man. Then we had King of Strong Style Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, Koto Abushi. Kota Abushi, sorry, Kota Abushi, and that was my first time seeing Abushi. So, do you know that's probably the most brutal wrestle match I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, I oh, think it's more brutal than the the issue match. It's kick ass. Oh man, it was awesome. it was so good. I'd seen that. Uh, How long was before. it? It was twenty minutes, Aye. twelve seconds. I can see why he's called King yep. of Strong Style because I'm pretty sure he genuinely boots you in the face. Ah, he's awesome. It's he's like so weird and like yeah, it's like he loves Queen. Yeah, uh-huh. that's like why he's pure flamboyant. He like pure yeah. loves Freddie Mercury. Quality. Um, aye, it was that was really good, really, really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna rewatch that match at some point because yeah, just I think it was a uh, Jr. started counting the knee strikes, <laughs> and, like just knees to the face. I think it ended up like Nakamura hit a bushy with like somewhere in the region of like 20 something knee strikes over the space of that match it's so brutal and then in the main event we had for the the heavyweight title uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi and Kazuchika Okada for the for the world title of the world fuck me that was good like oh my fuck like that was my favourite match definitely on the card Uh, it was just amazing um, How I'd long did it go for? 30 minutes? 30, wow. 31, oh, minu- long. 30, no, 31 minutes. It was so good it didn't feel that long. It felt like, lo- feel like you wanted uh, to go on for longer. Aye. That was my first time seeing both guys, so I just was like, I didn't really know who I wanted to win or whatever, but yeah. it was really, really good. Rainmaker. Yeah. I want a Rainmaker yep. t shirt. Yep. The Rainmaker. Yes. Aye. Rainmaker Lariat. But see, like uh, the thing that they were going out that no one had ever kicked out of the Rainmaker Lariat. Aye. And like I thought, right, I thought like Okada was going to win, right? And I thought that was the full point about it. And then it was like a shock. It was a bit of a shock when he, he lost because he's meant to be like the. Like, they were putting him over. So he's like the great. He's JR said he's probably one of the the greatest athletes he's ever seen in the sport and stuff like that. And they made him a big deal, and then all of a sudden he got beaten. Got like, a really good 
Ved ikke, at drop kan ikke. Nej. Nu skal det smage. For det um, <laughs> For like... Part of it that... Um, for me, I like keep interest in it. I, 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 I like... Part of it for me is I need to know like what the story is. Um, just because I'm new to it and stuff, I'm just like, I, I need to know who's a dick and who... I feel like New Japan doesn't have a big story. It's no, just it's like, just like, like these two guys are look really good and they're going to battle um, each other. It's, it's basically the story of... Uh, but yeah. for like, knowing for Cole, Jim Ross did a good job of... Aye. I like yeah. selling it. <laughs> You're 30 minutes into this already. Aye. Jesus. I, I still feel like he's striker. Back I feel God. like he's probably... I can't believe that WWE get rid of him, honestly. Oh, he's amazing, isn't he? He's just... So, he knows so much. Aye. I know a lot of people don't like that. They think he's a bit of a know-all, but... I don't was just that rhyming that off facts. Just so, so good. Knows more than Tell me all the facts. It was helpful aye. for, like, someone like me who knows aye. sweet fuck all. Exactly, like, aye. Perfect for something. Aye. I love all the weird facts and stuff, like... It's, I was about to say something, but it's too controversial. I'm not going to say it, so just let's move on. What? If it's not... Too controversial. Let's move on. Gary, you need to Can't throw that in the mix and Fuck then take it out the mix. WWE. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! This is the this is the get wrecked shows shocky ducky quack quack <laughs> <laughs> podcast. <laughs> For me with WWE, it's like they have enough like really good guys that I like do I enjoy like every show basically. Oh, of course. But yeah. it's just like but they get rid of that some of the just, stuff. Some they of do. the shit they pull off is Aye. just total. We'll get, we'll, we'll we'll get there. We'll, that, yeah, right? we'll get there. Yeah. Do you know what was the opposite of bullshit? The fourth annual square go in the ABC. Uh. Except... <laughs> Stephen, mate. That's twice. Except the fact my back really hurt. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> my feet were so... <laughs> worked, a, worked a night shift and a day shift on the Saturday before it. Just, and you just then, worked a shift? Aye, like just, just all the way through. Word. And then, like, my back was just fucked, man. Like, fe- before the first match. Oh, man. <laughs> so, eh... Uh, but it was amazing. Um, you could say I was the Iron Man of the ICW crowd. <laughs> um, I took a sign. You did take a sign, then some dirty rat cunt <laughs> threw a box of Tic Tacs off it, and then when I asked who it was, everybody turned away so they can go fuck themselves. I mean, like, to and be I'm fair... putting that on the internet. Uh, see, if to you be are fair, listening to this, Joe thinks that you are feared. To be fair, my sign was a little mean. No, Aye. but... <laughs> well, they weren't throwing it for that, they were throwing it because it's a sign. Oh, looks, that's going to be funny, let's throw that at the sign. Your sign spoke the truth, alright? And we all know that Jackie Polo seen it, alright? He, knew, he, knew, he looked right at it. Uh, he did look he just, right at he it. Looked raging. <laughs> he looked very angry about your sign, Stephen. It's good, but that's like the reaction he wants for the ah, you know. He's trying to get people to Because I, I, I genuinely, when I seen him look at it, like on the video, but like no react to it, I felt kinda bad. <laughs> I was like, I might have hurt that guy's feelings, I feel kinda shitty. No, no, <laughs> he's, he's laughing. He Would you like to proclaim like to the internet what the sign said? The sign said Jackie Polo was a rat bastard in capital letters. Right? But and I was, was like, small I seen it and I seen his face and I was like, he better not go top himself with a sign by the way. Because I'll be really sad if he does that. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, how how would you feel if he just like, turned up at your door? For he walked up directly behind me at the end of the square going, I shot myself because I thought he was going to batter me. <laughs> so The big man knows it's all for the, for the love of our ass. It's all for the show. Look, if somebody was going to throw something off your sign, they could have used something a bit better than an empty box of Tic Tacs. Like, they use, it no. use like a ninja star or something, you dicks. Know. Like, get crazy. It's funny, but because like even Jackie Poe's fans, Kenny's a pure dick. Because that guy was like, what's your sign saying? I was like, says Jackie Poe's a rat bastard. And he started laughing. I was like, well, he is. And he's like, I like him. And then just was like, but I ain't <laughs> 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 I was like, well... Uh, no, no. no. He's like, like, I feel like you're meant to not like him and I hate him, so like he must be doing something. Uh, right. I know. It's it's a, a, I've always been a big believer in like, see the people that cheer heels, alright? I get how some, like, you've got some people, that are your, they're your favourite, and you know, regardless of what they do, you're going to cheer them, alright? I'm kind of like, I was always like, I was seeing punk, alright? I'm at the intro, so. Ah, you know what I mean? Like, but see. Like genuinely, like, see the folk that like just purposely cheer the bad guys just because they're bad. That they that really drunk guy next to me that aye. just booed every good guy in every <laughs> match no matter yeah. the situation. That annoys me. I don't like, like this person because they're popular. Aye, I know. Yeah, like. It was that guy in the crowd when we were not seeing the queue. Aye. And the guy was like, "Fuck that. Grado, man. Fuck Grado, man. I'm, I'm, Grado not, push. I'm noticing a fair amount of Grado backlash because he's popular. Because he's that was uh, I was listening to when he came out. Everyone was singing along. I was listening to, to, I was listening <laughs> to shout, shout Out, I was listening to Lionheart's podcast. 
fucking good. From the heart. I wish there was more. Um, of it. Aye. Um, it every time it's just brilliant. With uh, Mark Dallas, and he was aye. talking about like every time Grado does something that like makes ICW more popular, folk just fucking hate him mm-hmm. for like aye. months aye. until he like does something that makes them like like makes them like them again. Aye. Yeah. Like folk just like despise like. Because um, there's fans out there that don't want ICW to go super popular. They want it to be this kind of. Aye, but those folk are dicks. I know. <laughs> those folk are awesome. They're like the worst folk, right? Because they think because they like it's it. It's ours. No one else can have it. So bum, 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 we've bum. liked it for the past four years, so oh, no one else can like it. We liked it's it when it was in Mary Hill. Oh, rub my tits. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's aye, fucking sure, wrestling, sure like, any, <laughs> any form of progression for the company is good for everyone. Aye, I know. So, um, <laughs> Like Gary never, <laughs> Gary never got a ticket for the uh, for Baramania, and his first reaction was, "Oh well, at least it's doing well." Aye, yeah, like, aye, like uh, obviously I'd love to go, but it was annoying, right? Because I was like, "I'll get it. I'm going to get my ticket Monday," and I was like, "Right, cool." And then on Monday I was like, "Ah, oh, I like I, I was busy on Monday, right?" And I wasn't in my laptop or anything. Like I was like, "Right, I'll get it tomorrow morning when I wake up." And I woke up and Joe had messaged me saying, "Tickets are sold out." And I was just like, "Ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> damn it." But as you said, that my first reaction was at least they're doing well, man. No. I feel like it's, it's like this with anything, but and it's easy to get. It's the same way. It's music. It's the same way. Games, anything. It's like. I have music, games, movies. Like as soon as it gets popular, it's like, oh, fucking hate this man, because like, uh, it's uh, it's really real. And in a world where anyone can say anything on the internet, <laughs> and you can get your point out quite well. Via audio, <laughs> um, it, it's easy to kind of get your they're, they're smart, get your c- complaint on. They're just you know smarts. I mean? We're going to hate it because it's popular. Fair enough. Do what you want. They're the folk that eventually they're going to start hating NXT because it's getting popular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But they loved it, you know, half a year ago when it, you know, when it first kind of started. Oh, it's a year ago it started up now. A year and a half ago, uh, like proper. Yeah. Um, As an actual show, year and a half ago. No, because Seth Rollins was the first champion. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that was a, it was years ago? Nah, it was Holy shit. Fair while now. Aye. Um, we, we've kind of uh, had small talk about it at some point in the next few years going to Florida. I feel like a big the thing for me would be to go to NXT while we're there. I've I'd seen that really Sami Zayn in a restaurant Aye, you did. at Universal, and it was, and I didn't. Why did you not just run up and be like, let's go? No, 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 no. Just See, like, at the time, though, right? Because that was, what, that was a year past September, all right? And, and like, I knew who El Generico was, all right? And I'd seen Ring of Honor on that, all right? But he's sitting eating his dinner. I said to Daz, I was like, here, see that guy there? And Daz was like, I was like, he's a wrestler. And he's like, who's he? Cause, and I was like, oh, Gary, him. everyone knows El Generico isn't Sami Zayn. They just have the same oh, beard. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I forgot. So fuck off. See, they thought I thought <laughs> we were like, soon, soon that I thought we were like, I got pure buzzing, like, when Finn Baylor favourited that tweet, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you're holy fuck, and I went on to one of my mates who is now a wrestling fan. And I was like, holy shit, holy shit. And she was like, what? And I was like, eh, a wrestler, a pure famous wrestler, like, favourite my tweet. And she was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like nobody cares apart from wrestling fans, Aye. I hate the geezer shit. See, to be fair, I was pretty buzzed for you. See, when, because <laughs> you, you posted a picture, I was like, oh, that looks good. That's cool. And then, then the next thing was like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But I, but was there not someone else you seen? And was it not like, did you not see I'm pretty sure someone in the park or something like that? Did you not see? You no, d- like Daz, I met Mankind before. Oh, oh right. Uh, holy. But back when he was Mankind. Holy shit. And he <laughs> didn't get a picture with him, he just said, all right. If he was out with his brains, but. He, had, he actually, it was back at the time he, he had, he he had bodyguards and all that. Because right, yeah. it was back when he was like, it was at, I don't know what age Daz. In fact, no. It was only like. I'm pretty sure Daz was like 11 at the time, so he wasn't like mankind. But if he's out with his family, he might have got bodyguards. Oh, no, they like course, him and all that. Yeah. I, I definitely, uh, I definitely noticed a bit more kind of not hostility in the crowd, but it was a bit more kind of rowdy and not rowdy about the show. Aye. A lot more drunk people. Than I'd kind of. A lot of people. Maybe just man. it just happened to be where we were standing. But uh, kind of a lot of like, guy threw threw a paint right then, then ran out and get chased by the ref. Walk around it was does. Fucking awesome! I hope and then he got the caught. Chased uh, him or not. Did they? That's why I'm assuming that's why. Who, who was that's it that ja- came through? Like Jackie, Jackie Bobo and, and I mean, uh, it would make sense that it was Mark Coffey. I think it was I Mark Coffey. I, I don't. 
that was like separate, but but why would they? That like, was like just it after, was it right happened, after it happened, and they came right. through. The so they made like, They left it then through the way we were, we were leaving. All oh, right, right, yeah. I noticed that like loads of folk were walking it as we walked it. I seen like, the Dallas and Toll were like aye. run about well, there. Well, I so there was a lot. Uh, Dallas was walking about taking photos with folk. Toll was walking about taking photos with folk. Lionheart was wanting about taking photos before the uh, Black Hotwood. There was like, aye. I think that's really cool because like, you could it's just fuck off. Really and appreciate it. Really appreciate well, that's why they go to the, 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 they go to the after parties with their fans I and all that. I, I, I feel like it was maybe because they want to have a party. I feel like it was maybe just where we ended up like standing or whatever. But it was a bit kind of we were surrounded by dicks. See on the left hand side, there's like that side of the like the ring that seemed like it was the. The diehards or that, like the, the folk that love it, like us. Aye, but like every, diehards, ev- not tryhards. Aye, but ev- aye. everyone there loves it, you know. I mean, oh, it's not that kind of like, oh, we, we are the, the fucking ultras or whatever. Like I don't know if just that. Like, it's just like, I don't know if everyone there. The green big green it, it just, it just so <laughs> happened that there was a bunch of like fucked up drunk dicks. I wonder if it's just like, I wonder if it's just like all the ICW fans, but like everybody's there's just like, this was a big show, man. I'm fucking surrounded by first timers, man. Did you notice it was just like a bunch of lassies, right? Behind us, just yeah. kept shouting for uh, Jack Gallagher. Aye, they just, they just, <laughs> just all love die hard Jack That's Gallagher. That's fucking great. Aye, I know. Aye. But, uh, aye. It was a great show. I don't mean. And I'm not saying the crowd was bad. I just think we kind of ended up stuck with some kind of. The folk in front of us seemed alright. Aye. 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 Yeah, yeah. Like no, I don't know. I don't mean. I don't behind mean us is where, in the O2 behind us where we are is where all the fucked folk stand at like. When it's easy like access Jimmy to Baby the bar, or when it's Aye, like easy it's access well, to the because there's seats and there's tables and all that. Aye. So, do you know? Like, I don't mean to like sound like I'm stereotyping, alright, but I noticed there's a lot, of, especially like girls here, that you wouldn't ask. Do you look at them, alright, and they look as if they're going for like a night out. And you Aye, I, 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 is it a night out? No, it's a no, fucking no, awesome night no, out. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't associate them with like go, like in their 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 ass. That's the good thing, but it appeals to everyone. It's like so good. Aye, is it, it's uh, great. What is it, Mark Dallas called it? It's essentially a violent soap opera. That's yeah, what yeah. it is. A soap opera where you can hit folk with chills. Uh, that when we were that was the thing with uh, Brush Goose as well. There's obviously a lot of g- guys I think who I think mean, obviously girls as well who like bring their like significant other Aye. and then like they get into it. Aye, like, it's great. It's, it's like yeah. Uh, Grado brought his butt to the, the WWE. Folk in the crowd are <laughs> just try to have a good time. You know what I mean? Aye. It's Aye. just. Sometimes, especially when you're not drinking, like I wasn't. No, like, can I, I get, we were all, but we were all sober. Aye. It was when, um, I mean, obviously, you can't really help this, right? But like, um, Renfrew and Galloway came out into the crowd at one point. Aye, they did. And it was right where we were, and they passed right in I front of us. Fucking rowdy, man! As soon as they came I by, cunts were throwing elbows and all sorts. I, I get know, elbowed right. in the chest, like, and like. Like sustained, like I in the chest, that like that, like held against me for like By close thing. for like a good like thirty seconds, and it is maybe the most uncomfortable and like claustrophobic I've ever been in my but entire life. But that guy you says he does it every show. The guy's like, oh no, everyone, no, everyone no, no, mate, no, 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 I'd have been <laughs> fucking safe. Are you talking about the guy and he looked like... It was, was a big, it was a big tall guy. And oh, he like, can I fell back? And he made a and I just leaned on me. And I was like, oh, no, what no, are you doing? Not. See the guy that looks like... <laughs> like we, I honestly thought I was looking at like, the back of Stingy. The large leather coat on, the black hair. Aye, that's those? the guy. That's the... That's a... Everyone, oh, oh. That's Do you the, feel safe around that's that a, That's a, pretty great. That's a, a, it's it's ICW's honorary security guard aye, that yeah, I think they know they have. Aye, <laughs> like, <it's great>. <laughs> <laughs> is that like <laughs> a hanging at the day? Aye, is that like a play? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that was. He's a plant. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but oh, amazing, but man. It's like part of the show. I feel like they acknowledge that he's there and like he does know. a good I don't job. know, man. I he just appeals. I think he's trying to get acknowledged that he's there. He's like that. He's like when, like, like no recently for me, but like back in the day, like go to gigs and there's like a mosh pit and there's that one guy that keeps order. Aye, aye. aye. Make sure everyone adheres to the code of the mosh pit. Here you. Some Disney. Or it's like, can, it's like man, can we use like, see when you're at a gig, right? And everybody's like jumping about and like pushing each other and all that. Aye. Like the full crowd does it. There's that one cunt in the middle. What? No. And there's no. Wait, this is too. Much. Much. You, this is too much. I don't know who I've seen. It must have been like a kind of. Maybe it was simple plan or something like that, right? Hey, that was fucking. And uh, um, there was a guy there, and she was a last, a wee lassie there, and she was obviously too young to be there without adult supervision. So she was there with her dad. And her dad looked hard as fuck, <laughs> right? And everybody was like pushing and jumping about and all that, and the dad was just like, he just stood there, and then somebody like bumped into him, and he was just like, boom, and just like fucking <laughs> threw them all, man, and they all fell down. He's like that. He's like that, except he wears a hairband. 
It's great. I kind of <laughs> want to get a picture. I kind of want to get a picture with him. I, know. I wonder if there's other groups of folk who I like he's their cult hero as well. Aye. Him, him, and the guy, him and the guy that gives Gallery the fingers off. <laughs> 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 the two guy, guys. That is guy. amazing. That <laughs> honestly, I love that. Just like the full match, just like that. Aye. <laughs> no, like, even the entire match, the entire thing that guy's in the ring. Aye, that guy, like, that guy stood bare fingers. And they like, <laughs> Honestly. And they like follow him. It's not like Aye. they'll just finger up, it's like. Aye. If he walks by, he's so like. So, this is it you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you not. Did you not. Because there's one. Uh, when he comes out fear and loathing, the guy's right at ringside, right? <laughs> and he's got his elbows up. On the, on the railing. On the railing. Yeah. And it's, it's, like like a, was, it's like. a support like he was, system. It's like he was, like, he was like leaning to watch, and then Galloway comes out and just like stuns <laughs> like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> the, entire <time. laughs> the entire match. <laughs> Did you not notice, even when they were in the crowd? Did you not notice that still, to that, still, even when they were fighting through the crowd? Really? He followed them round to one. <laughs> and he was trying to, like, get Cause over Because he, he, was, he, was, he was on our side. He was, like, kind of yeah. down near the, 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 the announce table. Yeah, uh, yeah. See, the, the thing is, though, see if the guy with the, 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 uh, the saviour of the ICW crowd is <laughs> listening by any chance. I love uh, you, sir. We that we are not taking it. We genuinely think you are doing a good service. <laughs> uh, He's like, maybe don't, maybe... He's basically uh, maybe he's be more polite. He's basically <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> yep. we should get him on the show. He's basically like the pitchers bouncers, except he's no a dick. Aye. Oh, I, uh, uh, aye. That's basically. I it, wouldn't go that far. How? Because he's not polite. <laughs> <laughs> so. So the it's not rude, but he's not. Uh, so the ICW crowd's a fair experience, considering we've just talked for like ten minutes about the different, <laughs> the different like facets of the ICW it's, it's crowd. It's actually experience. one of the best parts about it. Uh, like yeah, the crowd it, makes it, it is, something special. Really man. The the atmosphere when it started is, was incredible. Yeah, man. And also, uh, uh, Dallas's promo. That was up. Gave I, me goosebumps. I, I, so I was like so happy. Like when he actually, was that promo. actually gave me goosebumps. Like, were you know just so happy when he was I, speaking about it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the best one though was uh, fearing love him. Then he I said he was gonna smash Vince McMahon. Aye, I will. I I will continue to say this, and like, um, I'm not a very like patriotic person, but ICW makes me proud to like be Scottish. Aye. I'm like that's quite like, freedom. Right, so <laughs> onto, onto the wrestling. <laughs> um, <coughs> just spoke about the crowd. Let's speak about the matches. First match: Iron Man Challenge. Joe Coffey versus Mystery yes. Opponent. Mystery Opponent turns out to be Jack Gallagher, the gentleman grappler. <coughs> yep. I, I had a feeling it might be him. I did. I have to say, uh, I had like no idea at all. Because I saw their match a, like a few weeks ago on on demand that I hadn't seen before. Uh, I felt like it would maybe make sense. What was that on? Uh, Shugs' party, maybe. You said I, I want. Sure I was, want. You said that, I yeah. want to see. Um, m- it might have been that. I can't remember, but uh, aye, it was great. It was great. I could have watched that for an hour easily. It was just wrestling with uh, that. Just some wrestling, fucking man. wrestling. This is wrestling. Yep. This is wrestling. Do 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 do. Yep. So it was wrestling. Uh, and the and rest it, it, finished, it was just one fall. It was one now. Coffee pinned them with like five seconds left. It was, no, see that end sequence. It was so cool. Like what they done, man. It was, I had it the was greatest amazing, Iron Man, man match in the history of virtual wrestling all day. I tell you. No. It was uh, me as Ric Flair versus nineteen ninety three Sting uh, <laughs> for the WCW US Championship. Don't you mean the Surfer Sting? A surfer Sting. Yep. Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> Am I? <laughs> That's what they call them. They're cool setting up. They're is surfer thing. They're set, setting up for a uh, like fast lane, which is the next WWE show. And like Triple H wants to confront Sting. Imagine he just came out like that. Just it's like fuck you. Just pure buzzing. Aye. Was that bam up? I've never been that. Aye, it was. I was Ric Flair against Sting for the WCW US Championship. I went down three now. What? Is this in your universe mode? No, just exhibition. Right, good. I, I went down 3 0. I brought it back to 3 3. And then with four seconds left, I was put in the Scorpion Deathlock and tapped out and lost 4 3. Joe and was like, playing on easy difficulty. I was on just legend, like you easy. shit cunt. Easy. Yeah, uh, I don't understand how universe mode works, by the way. <laughs> I don't get it. All I want to do is take Daniel Bryan to the WrestleMania, and I don't care how you do it. Uh, you can like change his ranking and that if you want. You can put him for wherever he is. Put him in a rivalry. Put him in a rivalry with the, the champion. champion. Yeah. 
Right. Or you could just wait till Royal Rumble. It wouldn't Rumble. let me read it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let me edit the Raw ro- like roster. Why don't you just go skip to the Royal Rumble and then go as Daniel Bryan, win the Royal Rumble, put him in at number thirty if you really want to. Put him in at number. Or 30. just do exhibition and like do a title match and ha- play as him. Aye, but there you go. Aye, but still. Do you not? Do you not see how like you get all these like there's like the special stories you can do in the universe. Aye. I got one that I've never seen before, and it's a uh, John Cena versus Undertaker at WrestleMania. Aye. And it's like, like it's so different for everything else I've seen on it before. It's cool. What was, next? Go. what was next on the square go? Next on the square go was the championship match. Triangle G. It was Drew Galloway versus Chris Renfrew. <sighs> the fact that that just shows how good a card it was. The fact that the heavyweight championship match was only second. You're not a fan of it. Renfrew should have won that match. It should have. It was a bitter pill to swallow. Uh, yeah. But like the match itself. Really good. Those near falls and all that, I'm pretty sure I had like my like hands on my head in like disbelief at one point. Uh, um it was amazing, man. He won and folk just immediately started doing. Aye. Like, no, see I think that was the reaction they wanted though. No, like but see the see the way you see it, right? I'd assume that Drew Galloway's been paid a lot more than a lot of people yeah. there because of his name value and whatever, right? I have no idea how, how pay wrestling works. pay works. Yep, <laughs> if I'm honest. Just assuming, all right? Like they wouldn't f- just have him the champion for a month. I have no grasp on what you'd get paid for an indie show or an ice and or like a yeah. show compared to that. I'm not that gonna, really. not going to spoil anything because we're about to speak about it. But there's clearly mm. another storyline gearing up for and through. That yep. could, that could have worked if he was a champion. When you think about it. Made yeah. I think they're kind of turning Renfrew a wee bit into Mary Face. No, it's I think they're doing that with Dicky Divers. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know. I think, I think they should have... Like although I, I think they should have Renfrew and Galloway team up. It's one of those, it's one of those things that's so good about ICW, like... See if... Like um, not... Being such a big... Uh, such a big... Promotion because there's less people to leak storylines to them. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you never know what's going to happen. I which is great. The biggest I promotion I in Britain I right I now. What I would doubt. like them to do. I'll talk, about what I w- I'll talk about what I would like them to do after we talk about the actual school go. Right. Who won? What did you think of the match? I thought it was amazing. Oh, Aye. Was the, uh, how limp Renfrew goes when he gets hit with the future shock it's in the chair is really unsettling. Aye. Aye. Uh, and Aye. him getting thrown off the stage was great. Do you know if yep. you like when he got hit with that, you didn't know if he was genuinely knocked out or not? Like, out cold? It's like the bet, it's what they want. So no, no, of takes course. It, takes it good. We yep. watched something he is a little last week and Stephen asked me if it was real. What was it? I what forget, was? but you're like, that's exactly what they want you to be saying. Was it Jeff Hardy falling off that cage and hitting a flight case? No. No. That was real. <laughs> that was not real. He knocked himself out, didn't he? he right, that was planned though. To knock him out? No, they just no, fucked it. No, but it was like. Ah, he fucked up. That's what I'm saying. Eh? Um, then we had steel cage match. Fuck man, that was surreal. Ah, uh, yeah, that was like, mental, man. man. Hung over the ca- the ring and came down, and the ABC would you go for like a drink? Uh, yeah. Aye. Uh, really surreal to I've watch. Let me ask you. I've never felt more uncomfortable than when Wolfgang hung BT gun oh, over the edge aye. of the Because he was actually hung neck. for a, sec- a couple of seconds. I was just like, what was your man? Here, listeners, I'll bear this question to you. Is, have you ever seen a 19, maybe 20 stone man swan to the bomb off an 18 foot steel cage? It's amazing, man. And it bounce off the ground? <laughs> because I have. It's fucking kick ass. It was, it was quality. At our local nightclub. Not so local, but you know what I mean. I'm going to start a wrestling promotion and have it in pitchels. <laughs> and just make it shit as a joke. Aye. Well, that's <laughs> part of it. It'll be called, it'll be called Bitch in the Pitchels. See that episode <laughs> that's always sunny, where they make a wrestling promotion? Aye. And like Roddy Piper's in it? Aye. Do you, can you do that? That would happen in pitchels. Someone actually gets stabbed in the neck and all that. Aye. The match. Like, it would not be a good thing to do. They should have. Oh, don't don't say that. They should oh. they should really do that. Just to, to come out and talk or something. Aye. Just be like, I kind of believe Scottish. that guy is. I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't know he was in Central Four as himself. <laughs> and like wheels his Rolled gear. Well. Wheels like the, the hot rod t-shirt and like the. Really? Aye. So cage match, thoughts. Go um, fucking watch it. It's like three seventy five or something for ICW on demand. Aye, if you're listening to this and you don't pay for ICW demand, you are a. F- do you, do, you <laughs> own, do, you, do you own the WWE Network? 
Yes. If you don't own ICW on demand, shocking, go buy it. Hashtag you, did, you get, did, did you see you're getting February for free on the network? Are you? On top of your two weeks trial that you got when I you ordered it. So you'll, uh, f- did you get it right when it came out? Day, aye. Six weeks free you'll have had. Hello. We're them boys. Get the hook up. Drew to cancel it. Fuck up. No, I'm, ju- I'm not a dick. Uh, oh, you didn't know? Ding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, aye, the cage match was amazing, man. Just go watch it. Because, like, to a certain extent, if folk haven't watched it, oh, I don't want to like t- t- say the best bits of it. So, I, and we can so I just spoil I, two of them? But it's so good. We need to talk about it a bit, though. We can't I, just like it was like what? half an hour long and felt what five minutes when we were there, and like, that's the sign of a great. Was back. it half an hour long? I never it was close, that. close to that. Jesus it was Christ, right. fairly long. Maybe not quite half an hour, but it was. It was, it was get, s- getting up there. It was something. It was getting up there in length. That lightning um, still. Yeah. Do you ever do that? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> hey, anyway, <laughs> the wrestling. Ra- the wrestling. Uh, insane Fight Club. As uh, well. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah, talk, about talk about that. Talk about that stuff uh, because I watched some what, stuff. Do you, do you have words to say out your mouth about the cage match? I don't. Um, as you said, I think if you want, just go pay that. Even if you just like it, just to watch that. I bet you any money if they pay the three pounds seventy five to get it for one month, you you'll keep it. You, you wouldn't fucking you only notice it coming out your fucking bank account. It's three seventy five, like so think about that. That's you what probably like. pay more than that. You go for a McDonald's and you're paying more than that, you know what I mean? I get that and like giant bomb premium. And it's like six quid or something. <laughs> you know aye, what I mean? It's like aye, amazing. Aye. Uh, aye, the like I don't want to sound like a dick, but it was like way more professional than I don't know what I expected the cage to be other than a oh fucking aye, cage. Aye. But like, see that you know cage. I mean? aye, me, aye, me and Joe we went to we a, a WWE a show, show at the Hydro. At the Hydro, and they had a steel cage match. Randy Orton versus Roman, Roman Reigns. Reigns. It's fucking good. Right, Roman uh, Reigns get busted open really aye, bad. Aye, like uh, by accident. But like that, the cage that they had they like was carried so, out and built it. It was so unprofessional looking. Like being honest, it was rickety, man. Aye, it looked fucked. It looks like their the road cage or whatever. It was like so weird. I feel like they just went down to a scrappy and aye. went, "Can we get that metal?" It was re- that it, it was pure weird looking, man. Well, I'm going. I feel like I assumed that just like the cage and this would just be made out of like wooden pallets. Wooden pallets. But like, I don't know. They said it cost like five grand, so. I know, it was amazing. And I heard someone talking about like they rented it from like kid fights, like school. Like they got it from him. Right. To use. I don't know if that's true, but like I heard someone in the crowd talking about. Would somebody have a cage in their gym? That's fucking crazy. Well, like it, he might have it and then just rent it to like, multiple like. Right, but see, like the top of the cage, that's always a no to. Aye, that's just like the... Is that rig always there? Aye, that's, that's just rig, the same aye. size as a so wrestling ring. Uh, uh, oh, that's uh, no, they point. probably would have... Aye, the motor, I assume they would have like set it up. Aye, the, aye. Mo- the motors and that will always be there aye. up in the ceiling, aye, yeah, but yeah. they're fucking that. That's your rig was there, like, That makes a lot of sense. I'd so. guess. Maybe they have a bunch of that shit, but... Like they've known yeah. ever since. They've just known that there's going to be a steel cage match. You'd better just buy a fucking square one of these. The fact that like the big giant disco ball they had was like... In the way, what, like I in it, in it. Really, it was and like Galloway was like up the top rope and like nearly hit, ran through it off it <laughs> like, <laughs> like multiple times. Gave me the book a couple of times. I was, I was, I was quite scared for them. It's just so good. Like Aye. just watch it. Aye. It was so good because like I went back and watched this the other night. Aye, uh, same. Like on demand, and was just like this is incredible. Like I can't believe we get to go see this for twenty quid. Aye, <laughs> it's crazy. Then we had the, the, the square goal match oh, itself. The promo between we did, yep, sorry, shit. Dallas. My bad. Yep, Mark Dallas came out. He said that he promises by the end of the year ICW will have a TV deal, but it means he has to step back and announced Red Lichtenen <laughs> as the uh, GM. Oh, I think. So good, man. The people's wanker. Did people's you see wanker. Uh, And then he just cut a promo where he slandered everyone and it was amazing. Uh, and right. everyone just kept cheering. Uh, you know, <laughs> just, he wanted, but eventually the people's wanker, red lightning. It was a uh, use of being called the best line there. Right? It, it was not witty whatsoever, but it made me laugh. It was use of being calling me an arsehole for years. We'll see now. Use of the arseholes. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I liked how he came out with a headset like Paul Heyman used to do as well. Yeah, that's that's a nice touch. Well. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Oh, so good. He come, he came out. <laughs> 
at Space Buzz with a headset on and then a mic. I was just like, <laughs> alright. <laughs> I was just like, holy fuck. <laughs> then but we had, sorry. I want to know like what I feel Denton we told because he was like raging at uh, Dallas. Right, right. I wonder if you like like start managing like wrestlers and like like Aye. manage like bad guys I I've d- I dressed up as a fucking Oompa Loompa <laughs> and now you lay this shit on me um, <laughs> what was the thing as well uh, well that's just during the square go but uh, there's like a new fa- there's like a new faction also yeah now indeed I'm pretty sure Looking Sharp had the most eliminations I think so he was uh, in there for a while man had like five or something like it's great uh, right, we had the thirty man over the top rope square go match for a title shot any time in the next twelve months. Uh, we should uh, open in comments. We should explain that essentially if you haven't seen it before, it was a mix up. It's like basically a mash up between the, the Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank. Aye, you basically get a Money in the Bank contract if you win it. Aye. but it's better because you have weapons in it. Aye, five folk come out with weapons. Yep. Which, which vary in severity. Shah Samuels with a leather strap, Jackie Polo with a polo mallet. Some, uh, someone with a chair. Demo with a chair, Grado with a haggis, <laughs> and Stevie Boy with a frying pan. That's true. Yep. Wait, Jackie Polo had the polo, the polo mallet? He did. Yeah, and then he was in for two seconds. Aye, you get put yep. out. Aye. aye, Red Lightning came out. That bastard. I can't wait to watch Red Lightning. No, <laughs> eh, I can't wait to watch Lionheart kick his teeth in. It's gonna be great. <laughs> um, right. So the match was about an hour. Aye. We started off with DCT, international sex hero. Oh, the tycoon oh, of Tinder. Oh. He's great. I love him. He's so good. Uh, him and Viper. And then. See, to be fair, like, it was very, very dodgy. Like what? Like imagine that happened on a on a PG show. Like, <laughs> thank fuck it's eighteen plus. That's, that's all I'm saying. This ain't no PG show. Essentially, DCT is meant to be like this international. He's a dirty bastard, basically. Aye, he's a slimy, dirty bastard. Uh, uh, number two in the square go was a female wrestler known as Viper, and DCT done everything in his power to get her in dodgy looking positions. Yep. DCT, if you're listening, we love you. You come are on, come funny on. as. Come on the show. <laughs> um, and then so come on the show. Are we going to oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> are we going to actually? No, nah, we'll be nah. here on it all day. Yeah, yeah, we've got that. shit to do. It's like five to four already. We have drinking to do. Yep. Not shit. I have um, <laughs> Xbox to do. So a fair amount of the first half of the square go work in the space boys type younger folk, Aye. which paced it really well and meant that when Kenny Williams came out at thirteen, everyone went fucking crazy. Aye. Uh, yeah, he might actually be the most over person in ICW. He's getting serious, close. Man. Yeah, Grado still is. Grado yeah, still is. Yeah. Uh, we had Grado Jackie Polo came out, Lionheart came out to distract him, and Jackie Polo got put out. Right. Had Looking Sharp. Looking Sharp's so good, man. He's great, isn't he? Um, <laughs> He's just this wee guy. We I had know. Jack Gallagher, <laughs> and then kind of after we had fif- 15 and 16, the Gatecrashers came out, and then after that, it was a, a, a lot more bigger names. Yeah. So to speak, we had Mikey Whitlash, who had a cool, uh, like a video came up to distract him and then he got put out, which I'm not sure what's going to happen there. you believe, you think, maybe? No, what I would like it to be is to be Jack Chester coming back as a bad guy. Aye. Which would suit him. Yeah. Because it's uh, even if you did, it was like, Jack Chester was a good guy, Mikey Whitlash was a bad guy. Aye. So that's the great thing about uh, ICW, and again, it being kind of smaller, is that if that happened in WWE or something like that, you'd be able to go on the internet and find out who that was. <laughs> so Aye. we have no Aye. idea and we can only speculate, but that's going to be awesome because anything involving Mikey Whiplash is uh, awesome. We had Lewis Garvin, Davy Blaze, Davy Boy, sorry. Davy Blaze here, come on, guys. Aye. Aye. I assume they, Davi- they had to call him that in the call him that in Insane Fight Club as well. Aye. Why uh, can't they call him Davy Boy? Well, I'm Davy Boy is not. like his other wrestling name. So like David Blaze everywhere else. Aye. Oh, right, I'm assuming yeah. they wouldn't want folk to confuse him with David Boy Jr. as well. Like that's aye. Right, aye. Uh, so we had Kid Fight. Big fan of Kid Fight. Not anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shah Samuels. Sh- <laughs> Shah Samuels, Tim Wiley, Martin Kirby. That was fucking awesome. Aye. Martin Kirby see, showing up. See when he came up and we, we just sort of looked at each other like, what? You aye. see that? <laughs> that, that was really, that that was was really uh, cool. I'm a big fan brilliant. of Martin Kirby. 
Uh, though, well, later on in the match, you, Kid Fight would join them. We Martin, had uh, yeah. we had Shah Samuels, Tim Wiley, uh, Martin Kirby, and was there somebody else? Oh, there's somebody else was Kid Fight, and then they had James R. Kennedy. Yeah. They eventually, Kid Fight eventually ended up and they've kind of became a, 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 a faction. Uh, of English folk and the one Scottish Aye, person. But Billy Kirkwood referred to them as the fun. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. that makes sense. Where's before Dyer, before that happened, we had Grado coming out, we had Dicky Divers come out, and then just sat at commentary for a while yeah, and yeah, talked yeah. shit, which was amazing. We had the return of Joe Hendry, Global Joe Hero, Hendry. Local hero. who signed this contract on the announce table. We had Stevie Boy, Mark Coffey, Demo, and then we had Stone Cold Bobby Roberts, who was then attacked by Chris Renfrew, God, card subject, so good. Subject, card subject, to subject change. to change, and then we eventually uh, the 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 fun as they were called uh, all eliminated themselves and C- fucked off. Took off gr- took Aye. Grado because now obviously Grado being. I saw they announced for I one. Think look at his team I, s- I, I saw they announced for one of their uh, tour shows that it's Grado and two mystery opponents yeah. versus Kirby. Kid fight. Wiley and Kid uh, fight. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then we came down to the end. Um, yeah, Dicky Divers and Chris Renfrew. Mano a mano. Uh, Renfrew try to convince Divers that he should jump over. Because it's cr- still cr- Chris <coughs> Renfrew. Still has time. He's the head honcho. He wants the shot. They had a scrap. They had a scrap and it ended with Dicky Divers winning the square go. Which uh, which a a guy outside the pub in Glasgow told us that his pal's so raging that he's phoned the console. (laughs) So We were walking down. Right, first of all, I don't know how the fuck this guy got to that pub before. Aye, that's so quickly. Remember, we had to wait in the queue. Aye. We had to wait in the queue. But we walked past, right, and he must have had a a Gredo t-shirt on and he must have seen it. He just shouted drunkenly, "Md bit Dirkel, uh, Md bit, <laughs> Md bit divers wee man." And I was like, "Aye, mate." And he was like, "My mate's fucking raging. He's wounded coats." <laughs> <laughs> I love Dicky divers. So that was it. Was see him? See my pal there raging? Big man's phone the coats and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the di- the dissolve the di- dissolution. I wonder what's going to happen to you know. It's not just here's what I think is you know, going to gonna happen. Here's what I think is going to happen. Go. Right. So obviously, Dickie, uh, Dickie Divers has got the title shot, right? Galloway's the fucking... Still Galloway's got the title. Yeah. Oh, shit, I was going somewhere with this and I can't remember what the fuck it was. It must have been amazing. Basically, I think Grenfrew and Galloway are going to team up Aye. to not get... to get Dickie Divers to, like, no. Oh, win the title. imagine Galloway turned... That would be so smart. That would be smart. Smart. Shirt. That's why I should write this. That's why you bitch in the pitch. You should. Else should be <laughs> hang. It's good. B- bitch in the pitch. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Joe does not like to speculate. I do. I, I, I don't like. Just what ICW, I see. Like, W. I like. I don't like speculate. I'm just like this storyline would be cool if it actually happened. That's not. Like, like ICW, it's so easy to not know what's going to happen next aye. that I like to just switch off, fail at everything, and just soak it in almost. I no. guess. Then we had the Royal Rumble Dun-dun. that same night. Um, I just found out that they are now called the Bastards. I, I was right? going to say they've got a different name every time. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Right. Okay. No, the last two times they've been on pay per view. Uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Uh, it's like the best fucking tag team you could ever fit together. Most uh, underappreciated folk on the aye, roster. They were called the Masters of the WWE Universe. <laughs> I feel like that's going to play on brass. Kings of Wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. Masters of the Universe. Yeah. yeah. They, they, were, um, uh, yeah. they were Brass Ring Club. What are they now? Brass Ring Club. Oh, right, okay. Um, Brown Ring Club? <laughs> that's my club. <laughs> uh, oh, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd versus Big E and Kofi Kingston of the New Day. Oh. Oh. New Day? Was this pre show? Yeah, I didn't we, watch we, the pre show. We missed it. I we were the pre-show. still getting home. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. I can only assume it was a very decent match, but New Day just don't stand out that much. Ah, oh, like oh, that's twice this week I've done that. Hit my teeth after Yes! <laughs> hey. Then we had the Ascension versus the New Age Outlaws. Oh, the Ascension one. It was so good. <laughs> I really like the Ascension. I just think that they need to like just be what they were in the next I was just, yeah. I didn't watch wrestling when the New Age Outlaws were a thing. 
and Road Dog came out and was just like talking for like five minutes and it just blew my fucking mind. Aye. It was oh, so you good, man. No, I that and all. You ass better call somebody. There you go. I was saying to Stephen how like, me and the guy in my college class used to just shout that in the middle of lectures. <laughs> um, aye, that was good. It was oh. just the ascension getting a win, really. Uh, Shouting usos. That I used to shout. Oh, me and Davis used to go, who? So? <laughs> best I, no, best went, entrance in wrestling. It was Davis. It was Davis. Who? Uh, uh, the usos. The usos. No, did you not say it was the second best? I like our truths because he raps. Badly. <laughs> <laughs> like, that man cannot rap. Uh, I know. I know. So I like Daniel Bryan. He's my favourite entrance. So, so the Ascension beat New Age Outlaws pretty handedly, uh, as they should. I think they should get rid of the face paint and the dumb fucking catchphrases. I yep. think they might because like GBO was like ripping them for it and all that. Aye. And, like, I think that might, might, might be like right, maybe. We Imagine should. they just came out in suits. Well, that's what everyone should do. Aye. Because he was basically <laughs> like he was basically like. Take those shoulder pads and face paint off. You are not. Um, Aye, the those road guys warriors. Either road warriors. Then we had t- another tag team match. Uh, the Usos versus Miz and Mizdow for the titles. Mm. It was mm. fine. It was alright. It's alright. Like it was. The more, the more and more that Mizdow doesn't turn against the Miz, the more I get frustrated and don't like to watch the fights that he's in. But you need to build up. It's going to be a wrestle. They've been building match, it for man. fucking ages. Exactly. It better happen at WrestleMania or I'm putting my fist through my laptop screen. That'd be amazing with it. Then we had another tag team match. Oh. We had the worst thing in wrestling today, the Bella Twins. Well, well, well. Versus worst and best, you could say. Well, I Versus yeah. Paige and Natalia. Um, I don't really remember much of that match. I liked it. I liked it. Fine. See, Apart from the g- fact that Paige and Natalia lost. No, they're, 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 they're doing, they're they're doing Nikki Bella and Paige at the next... Uh, they were giving a lot more time than normal. Aye, they get eight minutes. Normally they get a, eight, is it? Get more they normally time. get like one or two minutes. Get more time than the Ascension. Aye, yep. Then we had match of the night, match of the month. Might be match of the year already. Yep. Uh, Lesnar, Cena, Rollins, triple threat match. Mm. 23 minutes long. Some good shit. Holy fuck. Right. Holy fuck. He hit. Holy fuck. He hit a... A Phoenix, Phoenix Splash. Splash? What? Yeah. I've not seen anyone do that in WWE ever. It's kick ass. And he just kicked out with it. Kick just ass. What, I what did I say? Best guy in the shield, Seth Rollins. You did day one. You day did one, that. son. No, no, he is I agree that amazing. I always he thought is really and good, man. I always thought that Dean Ambrose is more like the complete package, but you can who certainly is isn't he the best person in the shield. Well the shield isn't a high anymore. Who so wasn't? Roman Reigns. Aye. But like, Fuck no, Roman but you're right. Like, see Michael the guy. Chiklis. You seen SmackDown? Apparently, oh, you hey. opinions apparently on Michael <laughs> Roman Reigns. And whether 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 we are head scissors last night, and uh, against the big show. I think he did. I. Right. And for I seen someone say like that. It just proves that he's like he's not just trying to be like five moves and that's it. He's I love Roman Reigns. I think he's quality. He's, think he's a victim of shit booking. Aye, that's all it is. Who? He's clearly got Roman Reigns. I don't think the guy can fucking like. Cut a promo the man in himself. the bed. No, but no, that's because he's scripted. Just tell him to go out there and talk about. I was saying to, I was saying to Gary. Should I fucking stayed in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Sam, <laughs> Sam Roberts, an American radio host. He does a podcast. Big uh, wrestling fan. He's like into wrestling. Does a wrestling podcast. He's really good. He came out with the best idea ever on how to make Roman Reigns a star, and it was to get him to come out. Start talking and then stop and be like, you know what? I don't need your lines and then just pull a script out of his pocket and rip it up and just start going off. Aye. I just you realised my phone's not been in airplane mode the entire time we've been in here. Dirty bass. So if you hear an interference, then I'm sorry. No, see, like, see, <laughs> I kinda, like, can you imagine that? See, I kind of see him punk thing. Imagine that. Aye. I kind of like just like let him talk, let him tell it how it is, kind of thing. People are getting a bit carried away and saying that that's the best triple threat ever. Like, come on, guys. Unbreakable. Uh, it was good, but Unbreakable. Fuck off. What? Unbreakable. Uh. Calm down. Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, then we had the Rumble match itself that was 59 minutes and 10 seconds long. Guys, the Royal Rumble did teach me one thing. <laughs> what? Dreams come true. Oh, they do? What did I fucking say? What? Before we left the ABC. Joe It's said, coming down! Joe said, here, I tell you to be good. 
if the Dudleys appeared at the Rumble tonight and I said, that's not going to happen, and then shows up? Was Bubba Ray Dudley. Bubba Ray Dudley. <laughs> I went fucking crazy. I would get very no pants for a minute there when uh, Bubba Ray Dudley came out. Jeremy Butler. Jeremy Butler, no pants. <laughs> I think I take Scary and Capital Letters, Devon, yeah. get the pants. Mate, <laughs> I take you saying get the tables, and you text me that. Uh, we had a couple of really good uh, good entrants. Uh, the Boogeyman showed up. Uh, Zack Ryder showed up. Uh, DDP showed up. Aye. Aye. Uh, Adam Rose. Who, who had the most celebrations? Fuck <laughs> Adam Rose, man. Reigns it was Wyatt. No, Reigns and Wyatt. Tyler. Wyatt was in it for so long, man. I love how when the Boogeyman showed up, Wyatt was like the only one in the ring. He was, was just like, this was is... Reigns and Wyatt. He, out- he, was, like, he, 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 was, like, he was like, this is my show. He just like stood... Aye. Oh, it was cool. Reigns and Wyatt both had six. Big Show had five. Kane had four. I'm totally fine with uh, Reigns winning... Him and Lesnar's an interesting new match that we've not seen, and I'm ex- I'm really excited to see it. And just the way that they got to the end of the Rumble was fucking terrible. You know, uh, just like having Big Show big dump show. people over the top uh, rope yeah. one after the other was shit. <laughs> you you text me, I said yes, 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 yes. Get the tables. You said holy fucking fuckity fucking no pants. <laughs> And I, t- I said hashtag no pants party, and you genuinely, you genuinely text me saying it. Devon, get the pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how yeah, come his brother wasn't there? Don't know. We don't want to talk about that. It was pretty funny because he started getting a Devon chant going, and then everyone just started ch- ch- chanting tables instead. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like. What's the no pants thing? Just like came that way when like watching the telly, you like, like it's American, so no trousers. Aye, it's like it's like so intense and sweaty that you just have to sit in your underwear. Aye, uh, uh, right. right, okay. There's a <laughs> MMA journalist tonight, and like, okay. he, gets, he gets so excited he just tweets no pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like. That's fucking the, cool, eh? The rumble was good, and big bits of it were really good and really fun to watch, but just the kind of. Just the way they got Reigns to the end and to win it was yeah, done. Just 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 big show. Just the dis- like the, the t- Goldust and Stardust faced each other in it. Yeah. Uh, Stardust tried to eliminate Goldust and Goldust was too smart and aye, that was cool. Um, we had, sorry, excuse me. Um, we had tight, uh, Titus on the... Titus only went out in four seconds. Was, was meant, was to, meant to go out in one. Aye. And uh, Vince McMahon's fucking raging, apparently. Uh, aye. Was it meant to be like a record? Aye. It was meant to equal a record. Oh, right. Oh, because Santino went aye. out in one. Um, aye. I don't know. I'm not as like, outraged and disgusted uh, as like a lot of people were because I think Reigns is a good winner and he's a good wrestler and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. See, the, uh, remember uh, he's only been doing this for what, four years? Some, uh, it's, just the, it's just the way they got to that point was just not see, there was so much not better race. good. Aye. See the fact that Big Show and Kane were in the final four of the Royal Rumble, that says a lot, man. Aye. Aye. The final mm. three? Oh, no, no, well, technically not. They were in the final five. Final four? Final four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Rusev came in. So uh, final four. That's pretty. You fuck Rusev. That is not <laughs> very good. Like they're both I like Rusev. I um, see for it's a second. I like. I like. I got this. I got a feeling like <laughs> Rusev. <laughs> I thought for a second that Rusev was going to win that, and I would have had no problem with that because he's got so. I would have because he didn't so wave a flag when he was coming out. So. <laughs> Rusev <laughs> waving a flag is like my favourite thing. You see, waving a flag. I could put a flag at Morrison and wave it better than Rusev does. I say it's more of a thrusting a flag. <laughs> <laughs> I want to s- check something because uh, it's they're doing Rusev and Cena fast lane, and they're like Cena's like I'm gonna say the champ is here, but they've never actually said it's for the US title. But uh, oh, uh, no, there we go. It was announced WWE dot com that he's defending the title against Cena. I hope to God that he goes over. But Rusev, at re- I hope that there's some kind of double, dis- something double count out of that, and I hope at WrestleMania, uh, uh, that think how much 
people will is it true they're not man. is it true they're not numbering WrestleManias anymore and they're using they symbols? will like on the broadcast and stuff but not on like logos just just because it's they're using like, like symbols now instead it's fucking ridiculous yeah. to be fair that is going to get like Aye. Wrestlemania 57 <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> well well UFC is off at Oh, no, yeah, that's, that's yeah. different. One, it's nearly. It's going to hit the two hundred, sir. That's different. Is it? Is it really? Because as far as I'm concerned, WWE know. is a legitimate sporting organisation. No, it's really they, funny. But they don't do a WrestleMania every week. Do you know what's really Continue? funny? Do you, do you know what's really funny? Get. Getting drunk and telling your friends that like wrestling is absolutely real, hundred <laughs> percent, because they get really angry at you. What? When did this happen? I do it to Tom like oh, every day. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, even, even when you're sober, you do it. I don't know. It's funny. So that's that. That was this month in wrestling. I feel like the shows didn't quite have the same volume of matches as the nah, last time. Nah, nah. Because there was two rumbles, because though. Two of them, uh, Aye. Yeah. One of them was a superior superior to the other, and we all know what one that is. I see W. Yep. Uh, um... Here, we should talk, should we about, talk uh, about Insane Fight, Fight Club. Club. Right. Aye. How, ma- how long have we gone for? An hour 20. Christ. Not too bad. The last one was an hour 12. No, it wasn't. Was it? It was like two hours. Was it? Oh, well, fuck you. So we've got... Uh, February, we have an assortment uh, of ICW shows, I think, as sweet. part of that uh, tour. Yeah. We've the got the, 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 the uh, insane, enter, insane entertainment uh, system. Hopefully those go up like that month. So. Then we've got uh, March 1st, we've got uh, Ring of Honor anniversary show. We've got Fastlane at the end of the month as well. TNA are going to fucking so make something. NXT thing? Going to make something. NXT takeover rivals. And it's uh, Sami uh, Zayn versus Kevin Owens for aye. the title. There's Which other matches that I know so are happening because I've looked up taping results, but I'm not going to... See them. I don't know. I've just been watching it. Uh, I've been watching it as it goes, man. What? Oh, no. I'm going to have to go Shall here. We'll call it now. Um, Can I deal with that? Insane Fight Club. Yep. It was amazing. Insane Fight Club 2, cool on this time. It's personal. It's great, wasn't it? Yep. I'm just what you'd expect, really. Aye. It's hard More to, of it's hard to go in depth for a documentary. No, like they done this, and then they done this, and then this happened. It's ah. basically them. They cover the tour. Uh, the Magical Mystery Tour and then uh, Feeding Wolven 2 so I was watching it and my mum passed by and she's like is that the man from Brookside? No. it was just that random guy how they found him I don't know or he <laughs> just ha- happened to be in Liverpool and found the guy from Brookside I assume I the BBC could get Aye. him that, no. then that, that guy's number but like why him? I get it it's for the because he was like the bad guy in Brookside was he the bad guy? Uh, he was like right? the kind of the gangster oh right it's Jimmy Quatkill. Jimmy fucking Quatkill. Aye. And then they got him onto a show. And <laughs> did he not punch I've never seen it? someone throw a shiter punch than that guy threw. <laughs> or someone that has portrayed a gangster Aye. for most of his life. You know what I mean? Is that a bit where he takes me to that, that statue of Queen Victoria? He's like, if you look at it for you, it looks like she's got a dick in the show. Aye. Yet. Aye. Like, <laughs> but I was quality. It was good. I, I don't know what else to tell I you. Go watch it. I, don't know. I believe that the world you've got like you've got like a few more weeks. The, the few more weeks till it's off. Not dick. It was. He goes ah, If you look at it from here, what, do you, what does that look like? And I believe Grado shout look, says, "Here, that looks like she's got a bobby." <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's about us for this month. Can we talk about WrestleMania? No, WWE twenty four WrestleMania thirty. Fuck, that was awesome. What? What? I never watched that. Is it good? Yeah. Don't, I don't want to hear it. I, I was w- just w- Drew greeting about every five seconds. Oh, and about that young... That him, and then just the other stuff. Yeah. Like Ric Flair greeting. Right, and then they, like, know, talk about uh, Warrior as well. Aye. Oh, my... It was awesome. Go watch it. I'm going to go and watch it. That's what I'll do the night, actually. Really good, man. It's only half an hour, so... Is it? Oh, right. Cool. Are they doing, like, more of them? I hope so. I hope they do, aye. I hope they do one for, like... I've seen the trailer me. for it, and I thought it looked quality, but... Yeah. I think that's about us. For this month, yep, have plenty of stuff next month. Have plenty of stuff every month. There's a lot of wrestling to be watched. Plenty of wrestling. Watched. Gary, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having Stephen, me. Stephen, thanks for joining hopefully, us. As always, hopefully I will be back. That'd be good. If, as long as you don't have it in a weekend, as long as it's <laughs> a, a Thursday or a Friday or a Wednesday night. I'm sure, that could be a, arranged. Yep. Hashtag no pants. Here we go. Slap nuts. Thanks very much for listening. 
If you've made it all the way through, us I talking shit tell about friends, wrestling, tell your friends, you tell must everyone, be tell your grandma, tell everyone you know. Be edge. I know your grandma ain't no shit. Drink water. Hashtag get wrecked. Don't get sick. Don't bye get bye. sick. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.